Okay, so now for the sides, uh, jungle cock. Um, if I can give you just a little bit of a, of a tip, um, get yourself these little business card holders and just spend some time prepping your materials beforehand. And if you're not busy tying a fly, just get all your match pairs, put them in a little sleeve. So when you do need it, you can just take it out, match it up, see if it works for you. It just saves you a hell of a lot of time. In the, in the beginning when I started this, trying to find the right feathers took more time than it actually did to tie the fly. So this comes in very handy. So I've got all my jungle cock in there. And I've got my sides, or my cheeks, my kingfisher. So I've all got match pairs and I just go and find the right size and tie it on. So just a little useless information. So now when I try and find, or when I find my, my jungle cock, I like to look for feathers on the side of the cape that have got a nice curve in it. So you can see it's got a nice little curve in it. So these ones I've already prepped quickly, um, just to save some time, camera time. And then I've waxed my thread. You can see that I've changed the wing. I'm glad I, I stood back, you know, I stepped back a little bit just to have a look. And we decided to rebuild the wing. Yeah, this one's a little bit longer as well. The other one was just a tad bit too short. Okay, so now for this, for the jungle cock sides, these are sides, it's not a cheek, it's sides. So they need to come quite far to the back. I like to get mine to sit either just, just before, or just above the, the butt, maybe even just not even that far. And then I generally start with the far side. So I find my length, get my angle, and oh, and I also cut little, I don't strip it, I cut it. Because these jungle cocks, when you tie them in, they generally tend to want to roll on you. And then just find my position, and I'm gonna give it two wraps. And obviously I've whacked my thread, one soft one, and then one slightly tighter. And then the near side. Try and find the exact length, so that's on the bar, I'll notice. And you want to tie it just on the side of the shank. If it sits a little bit down, not high enough, just pull down on that side a little bit, on the tip. You could take it off and redo it. Give it a little bit of a lift, and there it is. Two wraps, and there's my jungle cock. Okay, so we're waiting for the final stretcher. So now for the topping. Um, I prep like you've seen now, I've prepped all my stuff beforehand. And then what we're gonna do now is, uh, I, I like two different types of toppings. You get the one that's quite thick, or you go for the one that does that shower thingy. And to get that, is I just take my pliers, and I just run my thumb through it. And then you just play around with it, play it till it's straight. But obviously I'm not gonna choose that one. I like this one, it's got a bit more dense on top because I'm not gonna want that to go down the sides. I want this to be nice on top. And find a topping that you can tie down at the front. You don't wanna cut it off over there because it starts getting very brittle so the more of, of the tip you can use the better so this one is the perfect one for me so let's see if I can get on okay oh and also I've prepped the head already I've waxed the thread so the topping won't slip off put it on If you see it's kicking up, it means it's pushing against the front section of the wing. And just <clears throat> redo it. Where you've put in the fold, you want it, that's where you want to tie it in. It's like Murphy's Law. Usually you get this on first time. But now that I'm recording it, 
It's going to take me the whole day. That should do it. And then I'm just going to give it a lift to the top. Perfect, this chair is what I wanted. And there is your topping. Right, so now for the horns. I've selected the two fibers, so the right hand side of the feather goes on the far side of the of the fly. And what I've done is I've just added quite a bit of wax on my thread. And then what I'm going to do is, because I want to keep the profile nice and low, I'm going to aim for low. So I want it to be just, just past the back end of the fly. And I'm just going to hold it down. One wrap. Looks fine. Another wrap. And then the near side. Same length, same height. I hope. And I'm going to aim for it to cross at the back. But that's not the end of the world. And two wraps. And there we are. And then I'm just going to secure it with some three wraps. So now we're going to start preparing now for the head. And this is a tricky one. I've only ever done a head like this once before. Add some wax. You're going to need a lot of wax for this head. And you also want to start shaping your bullet shape of your head now. So I'm going to trim the, the horns off. And I'm going to start building up the head.